of to this message says how much is the value of your soul or rather what is the value of your soul what is the value of your soul how much do you value your soul how much is your soul worth what is the cost of your soul how much will you sell your soul what is that price tag place on your soul what is that thing you are selling your soul for how do you value your soul before you answer the question let me tell you how christ value your soul i want you to rate your soul the way christ rated it because many of us are underestimating the soul that the lord gave to you many times we still we underestimate our soul that the lord has in a very high esteem the soul that the lord values so much many of us underestimate it many people are willing to sell their soul because of our document many are willing to give out their soul because of a car many yeah, the, the tag the price tag of their soul is a flat maybe even just a cup of a cup of water many people underestimate their soul that the lord so value so much the bible told us the book of mark chapter 8 verse 36 mark 8 36 the so what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Jesus said, your soul, my soul, what that the rest of the whole world put together. Thank you. Jesus says, my soul, your soul, what more than your word? You were put together. When you say your word, it means the spiritual things in the world, the physical things, the intellectual, everything in the world put together. My soul is much, much than that. But it is a pity that humanity, just because of one thing inside the world, when the Lord is saying the whole world put together, the whole family put together is more is is nothing to be compared to your soul we many of us are selling our soul because of just maybe ten thousand pounds many people go into rituals many people go into all sorts of things selling their soul away for what less thing my brother and sister it is impossible for us to grasp what is meant by the whole world. Hmm. The whole world is not only the physical things. It's not only the, it's not, it's not only the, 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 the geographical things, the, the geographical world we are talking about. It includes everything. The, the, all the businesses in the world. The scientific world. The geographical world. The, the, the monetary world, everything put together. Your soul is more than that. That is what the Lord is telling you this morning. We that are lying to get documents, you don't know what you are doing. Rather, we never knew what we are doing. We that were lying to gain marriage, we never knew what we are doing. Our soul, marriage put together, document put together, the government of the land put together, all the things put together in the land, you are more than that. Germany put together, America, every part, the whole world put together. You are more than that. You are lying because of nothing that is nothing. To destroy something that is more than that. What a foolishness. Can you see how you how we how we underestimate our soul? What well, the Lord so much value? 
world lost so much heart in a very high esteem. Many of us are taking it to be nothing. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. The Bible told us in Ezekiel 18, verse 8. Ezekiel 18, verse 4, rather. Behold, all souls are mine. Are the souls of the Father. So also the souls of the Son is mine. The soul that sinned, it shall die. The soul that sinned, it shall die. Hmm. The death we are talking about here now is the death of hell. But in, in a nutshell, your soul will not die. You know why you should value your soul so much? Because your soul will never die. Your soul, it, it lives, your soul lives forever. Car will go. Everything will go. But your soul will never die. Your body will die. But your soul, the part of you that is made in the image of God, will never die. The Bible says, and the, and the Lord formed man in his image. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nursery the breath of life. And man became a living soul. The Lord breathed himself into sister charity. God can never die. Value yourself, do you value God? Value your inner man. Your inner man is God himself. Anytime you are doing anything against your soul, you are working against God. That's why whoever that works against God, God destroy them. So, know how you rate yourself from today. Man became a living soul when God breathed himself into you. When God breathed himself into me. Why would you want to kill God? God can never die. That's why Satan make mockery of men. Sell your soul to me. Because Satan knows the importance, the, the, the high value the Lord placed on the soul. You know, your soul is the breath of God in you. Sell your soul no more. Underrate your soul no more. God in heaven is highly, highly rated. Your soul will never die. My soul will never die. Our soul is God in a man. Your soul is God in you. Why would you, try, why would you try to destroy the God in you? The God in you will never die. But there will be a time when you want to go to hell. If you don't know the value of your soul, the Lord will leave you and allow you alone to go to hell. And that will not be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All soul is mine. The soul of the Father, so the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinner shall die. Tell John chapter 1 verse 2. Behold, I wish above all things that thou may prosper. Hmm. Uh, be in health. Even as their soul prospered. Many of us, our soul is not prospered. We want to prosper the body. We want to prosper our pocket. We want to prosper our surrounding. Why the soul is languishing? The soul is dying. The soul is, 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 is living in penury. Why? Why we want to enrich our pocket? Pocket worth nothing. Everything around you worth nothing. Your soul is the most important thing in your life. Even as the soul prospered, before you start praying, Father, give me money, give me documents, give me. Uh, first of all, ask yourself, what how is my soul like? Father, prosper my soul. Seek ye for the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. Even as the soul prospered. So if your soul is not prospered and you are praying for money, praying for other things, you are headed for doom. You 
that tell yourself, I don't value my life. I don't value my so some people now they are flying jet up and down. President of nations, senators, ambassador of nations. They are prospered. They made themselves an, an enviable people in the society. Meanwhile, they are so is a dungeon. The most important part of their life is dead. Children of God, don't underestimate your soul. Your soul is the most important part of your life. Your soul what's what the whole world. Your soul is more precious, more important. More, 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 I, it, it has no comparison, nothing on earth to be compared to your soul. As little as salvation is, is so, nothing on earth can buy his soul. The soul of 200 years man is equal to the soul of three months baby in the womb. That's why people that are both children, you are doing evil to yourself. That baby in the womb, that two is baby in the womb, and 200 years old man on earth, they are the same thing. They don't value them the same way. The soul of the child in the womb, the baby in the womb, is equal to the soul of Brown Namdi, it's almost 40 years old, 40, 40 years old. So, don't abort that baby, don't kill that baby. Whoever that killed baby in the womb, it's like someone who killed a man that's walking on the street. Don't underestimate any man that God creates. Don't underestimate that you think is blood. I, 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 I flushed it away. It was only two weeks and the daughter flushed it away. <laughs> the daughter flushed it away. You are flushed into hell. At that point, the blood drilled away, and you are happy it was successful. The operation was successful, honey. Eh? Eh, the daughter just flushed it away. A eh, glory to God. Glory to God. You flush so away. No problem. That baby is waiting for you. That baby was a man like you. That soul was alive. A living soul like you. And I pray the Lord have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, Genesis chapter 12 and 7. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return unto the earth. The dust you are cherishing. The dust. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust. The dust. The dust. And this is what most of us cherish so much. We garnish the dust. We garnish the clay. We garnish, we, we paint the clay. And make the soul to faint. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit shall return unto, the, unto God who gave it. The spirit, your soul shall return unto God who gave it. But it is appalling, it is a pity that 99.9999 spirit that the Lord gave it to go to hell. Hmm. It's a pity. The Lord is saying here that it is written that the soul of man should come to the owner. Apostle peace, the Lord is expecting our soul to come back to him. But souls are not going back to him. They are not going back to where they came from. We are we all came from heaven. But why are we not descending after death? The Lord Jesus Christ descended for us and ascended for us that we might ascend and never to descend. But it is a pity. Out of 6,000 plus that died last night now, maybe just two of them went to the right direction. They all descended. Of the soul to ascend back to the to he that gave it. And the spirit, your soul, shall return unto God who gave it. The ground gave your body. 
The Lord formed your body out of what he formed. He, he formed your body, but he gave your spirit. He said, add, he said in, um, in um, Isaiah chapter 11, verse something, say, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. You were formed from the dust. Your soul was not formed. Your soul was given. Your soul was breathed into you. Christ himself breathed himself into you. And it's expecting sister, whoever, apostle, whoever, to die someday and come back to him. Because he owned it. You cannot form the soul. The soul cannot be formed. The soul is given. The body is formed. So why would you destroy the given one because of the formed one? The form that will go to where it was formed from. So brethren, I don't know before now how you rate your soul. How you value your soul. But I'm here to announce to you that your soul was given to you. Your soul was not formed the way car is formed. The body was formed the way car is being viewed. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible told us in Romans 6, verse 23, For the way this of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. The gift of God is eternal life. That gift in you is eternal life. The wages of sin. There's no other payment for, for sin than death. If you allow your soul to live a careless life, it will die and never die. Look at that phrase. If you allow your soul to live a careless and sinful life, it will die but never die. I'm afraid of such. I'm afraid of such. For a soul to die and never die. Told us in Matthew chapter 28. Fear not that which killed the body and have nothing to do with the soul. I'm paraphrasing. But fear him. I will tell you who you will fear. He that killed the body and destroyed the soul in hell. Your soul will cry and cry. And cry and cry and cry and never stop crying in hellfire if you live with it carelessly on earth here. Don't allow your pastor to deceive you. Don't allow so ever to, don't even allow yourself to deceive yourself. Because a time is coming, you'll cry and cry and cry. Your mother will not be there to comfort you. Nobody will be there to comfort you. Now, if anything said to you, uh, uh, possibly will call you, hey, my sister, it is well, let us pray. A time is coming, there is the language, it is well, will forever, be, will forever be wiped away from you. It will never be well again when a man gets to hell. It can never be well with a man that allowed his soul to be dumped in hell. So why should I allow my soul to go to, to such a place? Because of money. The money I will leave in the bank when I'm dead. If I die with this clothes, maybe if someone loves me so much, okay, it's okay, this clothes is so wonderful, let me bury my father with this, cloth, with this cloth. Or if you wish, divine salvation, let us, let us just buy one lace and put him there. They can do whatever they like with the body. The most important is the glorious body the Lord will give my spirit, my soul. That is the most important thing. How clean is the cloth your soul is wearing now? Your body is dressing wonderfully well. I'm not saying go and defy your body. It is coming, your body also counts. <laughs> Take care of everything. 
But all I'm telling you, the flesh will remain on earth here. Though you give account of the flesh also, but the soul will give account of your flesh and everything that you ever do. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10. Praise Master Jesus. Sister Abby, Hallelujah. the time is coming. Every clothes you have will not have value. We will have no meaning to you anymore. The chase of car, we have no meaning to you anymore. All the land you struggle to buy have no meaning to you anymore. All the bank accounts we have in everywhere have no meaning anymore. And that is what many people are dying for. They are killing their souls for. Why would you care about what don't care about you? Your money does not care about you. Your curse does not care about you. That's why it can kill you. <laughs> If your car care about you, it will not kill you through accident. If your if your plane jet care about you, it will not kill you. Only Christ care about you. Oh, Father gave us wisdom. Only Jesus care about us. If our house is care about us, it will not allow earthquake to happen and finish us. If my best could care about me, it will not allow me to it will not allow me to get us the truth. No wonder it says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ. John 14, verse 6. Is the only one that care for us. Your car don't care for you. Your business don't care for you. So don't die because of things that don't care about you. May God have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the loss of the flesh. Let us let us walk in the spirit, brother, so that we might possess our soul on the last day. Let us do away with the things we see. The things we see, they are tricky. Money is tricky. Cars are tricky. Every on this earth is tricky. Nothing is real on earth here. Nothing is real. They are all vapor. They are all vapor. They are not real. The only real thing I've seen is heaven and hell. The earth is not real. We are like people who are dreaming on earth here. We are like people who sleep and dream. Hey, ah, I wake up now. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Hey. Ah, I thought it was a real life. Wonder, ah, Jesus, thank you. It was only a dream. The man, ah, the man shot me. Jesus. Ah, the serpent bites me. What? Jesus. But tell me it was a dream. I canceled the dream. I canceled it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, back to sender. Hey, you demon, back to sender. That is the life we are living. We are dreaming. A time is coming, we'll wake up. Wherever you wake up, you'll be there forever. You will try to cancel the fornication. You can't be canceled anymore. If you fornicate the dream, you can cancel it. But a time is coming, this dream world we are living. You will try to cancel what you've done. You can't cancel it anymore. When you have woke up, the Bible says, and the rich man slept and woke up and found himself in hell. He tried to, he tried to, to, to cancel all the dream he dreamed or ate, all the sumptuous meal, he could not cancel them anymore. He is still, he is still enjoying it today. He value all the sumptuous meal more than his soul. What about you, sister? You will wake up someday. So we wake up from this dream someday, and wherever you wake up, then shall be your reality. And I pray that I, Apostle Emmanuel of Basile, you that lit right now, we all shall wake up in the bosom of our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Only in that place, you can say, hey, hey, the dream I dreamt was a wonderful dream. The dream will be played to you again. This is how you were always coming. In hell, nobody cares about you anymore. And I pray one of us and fall into hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I read, I read again, Matthew 16, 26 again. 
For what is a man's profited? What is a man profited? If he shall gain the whole world, Christ speaking, if we shall gain the whole world and lose our soul, what is our gain? And what shall a man give in an exchange of his own soul? Nothing. Nothing. This is what the Lord asks us. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What shall you give in an exchange of your soul? What shall it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? What shall you give in an exchange of your soul? This is the word of the Lord this morning. Amen. Bless his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. What is the value of your soul? How much do your soul worth? The Lord Jesus Christ answered it for us. Nothing, nothing, nothing is worth losing our soul for. What is the value of your soul? Don't answer it. Because there is no price tag in your soul. The breath of Christ cannot be bought. God give us wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ah, you're not born again. Please, I beg you. Come out now. I receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Yes, you are doing evil to yourself. Say after me, if you want to accept our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as your own also. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I've heard this word as never before. Now I know the value of my soul. I destroy it no more. I condemn it no more. I underestimate it no more. Come into my life today. Come and dwell in me. Take my name away from the book of death, Lord Jesus. I write it in the book of life. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I am born again. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for saving my soul. Thank you, Father, for bringing your word my way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. I pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Behold, your children have come back to you today. Father, I ask, oh God, that you give them the greatest strength to run this way to the end. Father, open their eyes every second by second to know the value of their soul. Father, so that, oh God, as they put their plans, I mean, as they place their hands on the plow, they will never look back to the world again. Father, on the last day, their soul shall find place in your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.